Hi everybody. Apparently Mary and I have been watching too many Expedition Unknowns because you know how Josh does all the experiments where he goes to Egypt and they learn how to how they built the pyramids using fulcrums and all that crap. Well, let me tell you something. Fulcrums are not that great because we just moved a 600 pound piano out of that trailer and it is now in that storage unit. That's my hundred dollar piano. It was built in 1906 and the people moving wanted to make sure it went to a good home so I spent a hundred bucks, bought a piano and then Mike, your husband trying to get yeah, it and then Mike and I used those two by sixes and two by fours and three hours later we got it out of the trailer. And that's the uh, farm for today. <laughs> that's how you spend a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> so that's Saturday. Now tomorrow, no we don't get to rest on Sunday. Uh, we're going to get a refrigerator, a dishwasher, a microwave, possibly a stove, some furniture, maybe a cannon. No, you don't get the cannon. Randy won't give up his cannon. Well, you don't know. No, he's not going to give you his cannon. Well, you don't know. Maybe you'll let me fire it. <laughs> anyway, Randy's got a cannon. <laughs> Randy runs, works at the uh, sharpshooter. Sharpshooter, which goes out into the forest out there and they shoot a machine gun. So he's a cool dude. <laughs> so that's what, we, that's what we're doing tomorrow. And then uh, I think Mary's taking the day off Monday. No. Uh, I, have, I have solid meetings Monday and I fly out Tuesday morning. So <laughs> it's going to be a week. So, so, uh, so that's our... Uh, that's our day. That's Saturday. Um, oh, we went to see Joseph last night. I, le I left a comment on that. It was spectacular. Yeah. I mean, we've seen Joseph a few times. And uh, they've all been good. This one... It's like, it's almost like a sensory overload. There are so many kids. There's like hundreds of kids it's, running it's all over It's not hundreds of this. kids. The entire crew was 100 people, so you can imagine. Because with Joseph, you have a dozen sons, and 11 of them have wives, and then you got the dad, and then you got the narrator, and then you have all these children. Well, the children sat in the two rows in front of us, so nobody else sat in front of us. But the kids were continuously changing clothes, like putting out little sheep outfits and putting on cowboy hats and Camera grabbing outfits. scarves and lights. And so they were sit down, grab something, change clothes, jump up, go back up on stage. It was amazing. Before we got to meet Tony Tennille, she lives in Prescott and she did Hello Dolly last year, which we missed. But the lady that sat next to us is an opera singer and she's been in multiple of the plays. The lady on the other side of us, her daughter was the conductor last night. And so we, Mike and I got the scoop on every great theater. And, and her granddaughter was there. Oh, and her granddaughter was there. And the lady who was the narrator last night for Joseph, her son, daughter-in-law, and three grandkids were in it as well. Yeah. She had an amazing voice, just phenomenal. And then Joseph was a 17-year-old kid who just started singing a couple years ago. And he did an incredible job. So... Really, really well uh, done. Very well done. If you're in Prescott, uh, what's it, two more weeks it's playing? Yeah. Two more weeks it's playing? You're no, in, actually, no. Tomorrow night's the last night. Tomorrow or tonight's night. the last night. Tonight's the last night. Sorry. Sorry, people. Sorry that's should've, right. Should've, tonight's the last night. Mena La Mancha is playing for two more weeks. Mena La Mancha, that's at a different theater. And then in November, the Yavapai College Performing Arts Center is doing Singing in the Rain. So we're, we're going to go down and see, see that. All right, but that's our Saturday afternoon. Thankfully, the uh, rain stayed away for us to get this big old piano in the storage. And you can see there's a bunch of other furniture in here. That was all the mission furniture that that family was selling. So when we finish the cabin, all that mission furniture is going to go in the cabin. So it all matches. It's beautiful. It's really well made. It's expensive furniture that they were just getting rid of. So we got a lot of great furniture, but we have yet another storage shed that's full. Of furniture. Of furniture until we can get the house done and get the cabin done. Anyways, that's the story of our lives. So, everybody have a great rest of the weekend, and we will talk soon. Bye for now. Bye.